Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is uh, Saima Asma, and uh, I am a research scholar from University of Punjab, Lahore, Pakistan. I am a member of uh, International Muslim Women's Union, and I work for um, the, the women's rights associations and organizations in Pakistan, which are working in the framework of uh, Islamic thought. Uh, like uh, Women and Family Commission, Jamaat Islami, and uh, Youth Impact, that is a youth leadership initiative in Pakistan, uh, which is focusing on the, the training, leadership training of teenage girls and boys, because I believe that uh, that is the age where you can actually sow the seeds of change and the right thinking. Uh, women's studies and women's status in Islam and and the contemporary challenges faced by women, Muslim women, is a special area of my interest. That is why I'm here, and the theme of this uh, conference attracted me, and I came all the way here, and I found this conference beyond my expectations. Mashallah, it is a great success, and I'm very happy to see the environment here, the work here, and especially the ideological grounds on which this whole work is being done in this, uh, this state of Kalintan and the policy of the state especially that grow with Islam. That is the voice of my heart actually because when I call myself a feminist or the women's rights activist, many people object on that and they say that that's a Western uh, framework of thought. But I believe, and I often say, that if one wants to be a feminist, uh, uh, you know, there is no bigger feminist ideology than Islam in this world. Because uh, the way Islam uh, gives women and satisfies women from every aspect, uh, no other ideology can. And uh, this is this is what uh, you know. We we should all work for uh, showing um, a role model of uh, this success and this uh, um, uh, the empowerment of women that Islam uh, bestows upon her uh, in in the Muslim countries and in Muslim societies. And this is what we are working for in our country. And um, uh, my. Uh, you know, uh, first I will tell you that my, I, I was, uh, I, when I got married, after that I focused on um, uh, making a family, making a home, and now when my children are grown up, I have resumed my studies, and I did my master's and MPhil, and now PhD is ongoing after that. And uh, I think that if, if a woman wants, nothing is impossible for her. She can pave the way for herself. Um, she, can, uh, she can be in, in uh, decision-making process if she wants, if she makes her capable of that. And keeping in view, um, you know, keeping her family her first priority. That is, that is uh, good for her, not, not for someone for someone else, uh, because uh, this is, after all, this is the mother who cares uh, the most for her children and her family. Um, in Pakistan, uh, I tell you that uh, my, as a women's rights activist, my struggle and my thinking, you know, I have to, I have to fight on two fronts simultaneously. One is the um, ignorant uh, attitudes, ignorant behaviors, um, that are because of the distance from Islamic teachings, that, has, uh, that are uh, because of the not having the knowledge of true Islamic, um, uh, uh, Islamic uh, status given to women. And that is, uh, as there is a high illiteracy rate in Pakistan, but in ignorance from the, the status of women in Islam, the illiterate and literate circles are alike because the modern education also 
does not make them aware of what Islam says about women. So uh, we, we have to uh, fight that ignorance as well through dawah, and that dawah has to be done through media, through literature, through conferences, through seminars, through meetings, everything that we can. And the second front, I believe, that is even uh, more important is that the uh, um, uh, wrong practices, cultural, culturally rooted wrong practices uh, that are prevalent in the religious circles in the name of Islam. So uh, there is uh, uh, there is a lot to be done on this front in Pakistan because Pakistan is a highly um, um, you know it has many cultural impacts from uh, many many uh, areas from from many races so uh, so these these two fronts are very important to uh, be worked upon and uh, uh, and we we wish to fight on both the fronts um, in Pakistan and I wish you best of luck and I wish uh, my country be like this uh, regarding the status of women and regarding the active public role um, uh, of women and regarding the way women are here satisfied with the status uh, given to them uh, by Islam. Thank you very much.